it really is true. Like he starts singing and I just feel like I can lay all my worries at his feet. <laughs> I am attacked. I need something to hold on to. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm just, I'm leaving this K pop life. Hey everyone, so today I'm continuing my journey through all the one we MVs. I do not know if I've actually made it clear that I'm trying to get through all the one we MV MVs on my channel yet, but I am. So that's, that's where we're at today. We're going through the one we MVs. Um, I got three songs here. Um, I think they're in the order that they came out in, which is Q, A Book in Memory, and Star. I haven't heard those three yet, and I thought it was about time. Um, some of these are fairly early in their in their one week journey. 2020 is the oldest. 2021 is the latest. So they're in order of appearance, and one of them has Waza. So let's go. Oh, damn. Gyuk I never knew how to pronounce his stage name, so I'm so happy that I can just call him Gyuk now. And he looks gorgeous. Damn hot and just... Damn, they all be looking. I haven't looked at them in a second. And they, they be looking so pretty. <laughs> oh, damn. Look at Gyuk's hair. Ooh. Okay. This song sounds like you, bro, then. I don't know why. Maybe I'm saying that because I just filmed a video on his solos. Mm. Mm. Oh, I like this. I like the guitar. Wait. Was that it? Hot and stopping? Yeah, that was a hot end. I'm gonna stop drumming attractively now. I love those. My favorite thing. He does. Yongo looks so much younger here. Damn. It's only been three years. I love Dong Young so much. I love him. He's so pretty. Wait, is Dong Young the shortest member? He is, isn't he? It's my thing that I have with tiny boys. That's why I love him so much. God damn it, me and my freaking tiny boy thing. I have a thing for tiny boys. In so many of my groups, my bias is the shortest one, and I don't know why. But that's what's happening, isn't it? That's why I've loved him from the get-go. That's why I always feel like I should, tr I can trust him. I don't know. It's just, it's a weird thing with me, and that's what's happening. God damn it. Okay. She looks like a boss. I love the like the how calm this song is. It, it's very vibey. And I feel like one we have a lot of like calmer sounding songs in general, but they usually still feel big. This one feels much vibier. I like it. Oh. I love Wasa's tone. I love these lyrics too. Oh. Oh, their voices work so well together. Oh, 
I love this tone from her. I feel like this is a tone of Huaza's. You don't hear a lot in either Mamamoo or her solo stuff. It's like very like quietly resigned and quite soft for her. I feel like often when Huasa goes for softness, she goes for breathy in her voice. This isn't breathy, but it's still soft and I really love it. <laughs> Ah! She's a perfect feel. I wasn't sure if I how I was gonna feel about Wasa featuring on this because like you know they've already got three vocalists. Did they need to collaborate with another person vocally? Yes, yes they did. This is so nice. The way she slots into this song, gorgeous. Uh. Damn, young I don't have an, a bias in this group. I've given up on trying to find one. I'm motivated. Damn. Ah! I love this part. I love that she went for this lower tone and he went for the higher one. It's such a nice. And it's like they're talking to each other about this breakup. About their relationship. Ooh, that's nice, Kamyun. Have a bad title track or song with the Yo, because I haven't found it yet. Yes. I love that. I love that. That song is so nice. I love how it feels like res res it feels it feels resigned. Which is kind of what the lyrics are giving to, at least to me, on my first listen. Th the lyrics are giving resigned. And the feeling of the song is giving resigned too. I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Like, I don't know why, but that song just felt right. It just got me. I don't mm. I want more songs of one we work working with other artists as well. I feel like I feel like they might be real good at that. That was so nice. Anyways, um, next up we've got a book in memory. I feel like this one is one of their like more well known songs or something. I, basically, I feel like this is this one's a bigger deal in the one we verse because i feel like i've heard about this song a lot even though i've never heard the song so i'm a little bit scared because what if i hate it but let's go i haven't hated a one we song yet it's a ballad isn't it okay. Okay. oh my gosh Don't... okay let's let's just take a quick moment of silence for my heart because like Dongmyung looks 
beautiful. Okay. I mean, they all look good, but I just really like this style. Whoever put glasses on him needs to answer for their crimes. Like, he's way too attractive right now. Wow. Sorry, I just styling once again. So it's a breakup song. Oh, oh, this is so mournful and beautiful. This makes my heart hurt. I might just be in a mood, but these songs are like hitting me. I feel like I've been broken up with. I've been single for three years and I'm not even interested in anyone. Like I'm, I ended my last relationships, your relationship y'all. And I was good. Like I haven't been heartbroken in a minute. It's basically what I'm saying, but I feel so heartbroken right now. Ooh, these boys are getting to me. I felt grief more recently, but not heartbreak. Oh, Oh. This man's voice, oh, there's, it's so disarming to me. Like, like I know I've said many times that like there's something about him that makes me just want to trust him. But like, it really is true. Like he starts singing and I just feel like I can lay all my worries at his feet. Like I just... And, and like also like disarming as in like he gets pa straight past all my defenses emotionally like I feel it whenever Dong Myung sings I don't know why it's just like it just goes straight to my heart but that what that line from Julius This song is so <laughs> oh, 
gosh, your voice was given like I was I'm not I'm not worthy of hearing his voice. I I'm not blessed. Like what did I do in my last life to be blessed enough to be able to hear this? this. See, I haven't even really been paying too much of attention to the lyrics after I felt like I got like the basic idea of what the song is about, aka like some 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 breakup type of thing. But I feel like you can hear the longing in the song. That's why I was like, this sounds like yearning for something. And like, yeah, the sense of longing still lingers. Like I just, music really is incredible. And they were really good at transporting the emotion they were going for when they wrote the song. Because you can, even without the lyrics, you can hear that they're yearning for something. <laughs> But there's also a thing with Yomin's voice. Oh, their lyrics are so gorgeous. That was an amazing high note, my guy. Ah, oh, that song got to me. Like, it's just so emotional, isn't it? Like you can feel every single word they're saying in your heart. Ooh, I feel like I, like I legitimately just want to cry because it was so beautiful. <laughs> ah, that was so well done. Musically masterfully done like in my opinion i'm not who am i but you know like i just i i think also a, a lot of it is down to the vocals and the production on the vocals actually that just really transports that emotion they were going for and it's beautiful um i also want to like shout out to whoever wrote these lyrics because they're like very poetic in the, at least with the translation it seems to me that like the way they're expressing their emotions is just very poetic and like it, it paints a picture very much so and i think that's very it's very beautifully done i, I love that one that was gorgeous oh not me I'm crying just because the song is so pretty like what the hell who am i my best friend does that a lot i'm not usually one for that but okay all right, finally, we've got Star. I'm a little bit scared of this one because I'm just looking at the first image, uh, the, the first frame. And I think Dong Myung looks really pretty. <laughs> Maybe I am a Dong Myung. I don't know. I don't feel like a Dong Myung bias. I don't feel like a anyone bias. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. Star. I can't wait till Young gets back from the military. He looks beautiful. With that little crown that suits him so much. He's so cute looking. And I like Kang Young's hair too. So soft. Looks like cotton candy. And fluffy. <laughs> I just, I just, okay, give me a second. First of all, this is such a Youngun pose, isn't it? This is the way he likes to stand while he's singing, at least in an MV. It's very, it's low-key serving cunt, <laughs> like a little bit. I love it though, and it looks very attractive. It like makes him look incredibly good. So he, he knows what he's doing. He knows why he's doing that, and shout out to that. But I just want to... 
I've been thinking this a lot. I have this playlist because a lot of my favorite songs in the world sound either like they're like worshipping someone. Like an idea of that would be like I Wanna Be Yours by the Arctic Man Monkeys or Sinner by Kai or Vanilla by Kai is also in one of the one. But like I like songs that like sound really worshipful or and this is where one week comes into it desperate i like when a song sounds desperate like desperate yo- longing desperate yearning trying to desperately get something achieve something not desperate as in i've given up desperate as in i i want this so bad you know that is like one of my favorite things in music i don't know why because i it just gets to my chest immediately like it just sits in here and makes me feel such big emotions and I like it and my favorite voice when it comes to that is actually Yong Moon <laughs> on that playlist when I made that playlist I ended up putting a lot of <laughs> one we on it because of his voice just in- inherently kind of sounds like he's desperate <laughs> but like in a good way and it just really really appreciate that and i just wanted to say that This song is going a very different expect- direction from what I expected and I'm here for it. I really like the color synthesis. Down to Young Moon's hair. Also, can, like, can they put some more clothes on Young Moon? I'm too weak for this. I know I've been talking about him a lot today, but maybe he's just really been hitting me today. But Yongwon has this like type of showmanship when he sings that kind of reminds me of some of the glam rockers. I don't know why, like it, like it kind of gives like Aerosmith. I don't know why. It's the whole way he holds himself. Like he's not doing a ton, but he is and it, it's giving a lot and I love it. Damn, how did put some clothes on? Like, that's not fair. Cute is so fucking cute, I'm gonna die. I just love his showmanship. Ah! I would hate that hat on like 90% of people, but it looks gorgeous. I also just want to, because I haven't been talking about it, I want to give a shout out to Giyuk on the bass because I've I've been hearing him. Um, I've, I've said this in so many freaking One Re reactions now, but um, he just like one song from Lucy does these really like interesting bass lines where the bass isn't just 
background noise. It is actively one of the instruments you pay attention to. And I just really love him for that. Because he finds gaps to insert them. Those bass lines. Come on. Oh. Damn you! Also, this bit right here. That was almost, it kind of sounded like a singing duet does, but with a guitar and a bass. This bit. How the what like how that bass line comes in over the high guitar tones, beautiful. <laughs> also, that guitar is pretty. real place because it's beautiful obviously the sky wasn't actually that purple but was the grass actually that red i need to know I love how this song sounds like a space opera. These songs are all very chill, right? Which, if, if you've been around on this channel, you know it's not usually my vibe. Even though I think recently I've been changing when it comes to that. I think I've started liking... Well, I like chills. N never mind, let me let me phrase. I like chill songs, but I'm picky with ballads. Um, <clears throat> some of these songs were ballads. Some of these songs were towing the line of a ballad. I didn't used to like that. I think I'm starting to change there. But regardless, they all, all three of them really hit for me. Um, I think they're all three really beautiful. And yeah, I just feel like One We is good at not just making it a ballad, but transporting emotions, especially with, with the way they sing. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. It's, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Um, I think my favorite out of those three is, is actually a book of memory. It's so pretty. I love it a lot. I love... Mm. I've been thinking lately with some of the groups I'm doing, I've, I've been trying to like start making my way through all their title tracks. And with some of them, I'm almost done or I am done. And I've been thinking lately if I should do like once I'm done with them, if I should try and do like a definitive ranking of my favorite, well, in this case, it would be like one-way songs with MVs. Let me know if you want me to do that when I'm through all their songs with MVs, because I don't think there's a ton left. Um, I would, I would, I kind of think it would be fun if we did that together on a stream. If you're not up for it, that's cool. But let me know in comments. I think that would be fun, maybe. Um, other than that, let me know other one wee things to watch. Like, for instance, I've never seen a singular variety thing with them. So if there's something I should be seeing, let me know. But yeah, that's it for me for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.